This salmon was 77 centimeters long and according to the weight chart, 11 pounds. So yesterday, my cousin Jack came and got me and we went out salmon fishing. We left here around 6.30 and by nine o'clock I had a 77 uh, centimeter long salmon to shore. We guessed it probably about seven, eight pounds, but uh, once I got home, I looked at or the weight calculator for Atlantic salmon and according to the measurements, it would have been anywhere between uh, 10.6 to 11.1 pounds. Nice fish, had to let it go. Took us over 20 minutes to revive it. And here's that video. Okay, just waiting for Cousin Jack to show up, but we're going salmon fishing. We're heading out to Southwest River, and here he is. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture a lot of video because of the heavy rains. But here is the video I did capture. There has been a lot of changes over the last 30 years, but the one thing we must do as anglers here in Newfoundland is buy our license, get on the river, and support all the fishing organizations that help promote salmon fishing and retention of our salmon. We can never let this go to catch and release. Then the outfitters would control the rivers, and that is exactly what they want. They want all the locals off the rivers and all the sports on there. They want to control all the rivers, and they're trying to get it catch and release only. We cannot let that happen. Here, Jackie is slowly fishing his way down through the pool, making sure he covers every inch of that pool with that fly. It was raining hard when we got here, and that helped drive all the other fishermen off the rivers. Now we have this pool all to ourselves. Sometimes it pays off to wait out the weather. We knew that once the rain stopped, and with the westerly winds this evening, it would be a great opportunity to take a salmon. There is no better way to spend the evening, in my opinion, than out on a river after the Atlantic salmon. A beautiful looking river and a couple of dandy pools right here to fish. Nice salmon. Jackie reviving his fish. You always got to make sure when you're reviving a salmon, you point him upstream into the current. Try to keep him upstream and into the current. And like I said earlier, it took us over 20 minutes to revive this fish. And even after we had him revived, we watched him stay close to shore in the shallow water until he had his uh, strength up and then he slowly moved himself out into the current. As always, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please subscribe for future updates.